Good morning from Vancouver. We have been here for two days, spending the weekend exploring the city. I was last here in 2015. It was my favorite city. I think it still is. So we had a really fun time just exploring. It's, Amanda's never been here before. No, so I have we, not. <laughs> so we got to do a lot of cool sightseeing. Yeah, it's beautiful here. It's really awesome. I'm glad I was able to come out here um, and experience it. Yeah, so we had a good weekend, but now the real reason we're here is beginning. <laughs> so today we are getting on the Disney Wonder. We are, of course, doing an Alaskan cruise. Amanda's never been on the Wonder. Nope. And never an Alaskan cruise. Nope. <laughs> And today is my dad's birthday. It's a milestone birthday. So not only are we staying concierge, which I have not done in probably close to 10 years. It's been a long time since I've done concierge. I've never done it. <laughs> but we're staying in the Roy Disney suite. So I have done concierge, I want to say maybe two or three times on the Dream. I think it was just on the Dream. And we were just in like your traditional family veranda room never been in a suite before on any ship so this will be a first for all of us <laughs> we are very excited and this is definitely like just a great cruise to to have this larger space since a lot of this trip will be sitting on the veranda looking out at alaska and the the wildlife of course so we're gonna have a nice big balcony we're gonna have a whole living room space that we've never had on a cruise ship before so super excited for the nice stateroom as well and also just, you know, having a great cruise to celebrate my dad's birthday. We'll be showing, you know, everything that concierge gets you on the Wonder since we haven't ever filmed concierge before. So we will show the concierge lounge. We will show the concierge private sun deck if there's any special activities we do, all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, an Alaska sailing is completely different from any Caribbean sailing, which is all we've ever filmed before. So I will make sure to try to highlight throughout the week. It is a seven night cruise all the different activities that they're going to be offering since this is not the t the type of cruise that you're sitting out you know tanning or going to the pool <laughs> it will be cold so i did a um warm stuff yes lots of warm clothing i've done the alaskan cruise once it's the only time i've been on the wonder and it was again eight years ago so i'm sure those, there's been a lot that's changed on the wonder since there's the new tiana restaurant there's a new lounge they have redone the atrium since the last time i was here and not only is today the first Alaska cruise of the 2023 season, so we haven't seen anything as far as like the merchandise or anything that they might be doing different from prior years. So we'll show all that. Today's also the kickoff sailing for the 25th anniversary, the silver anniversary at sea on the Wonder. It's already started on the Wish, Dream, and Fantasy. Today is the first sailing on the Wonder. So we'll make sure to show the decorations on the ship, they're going to have special drinks, special food. There'll be special food in the concierge lounge, special merchandise, of course. So not only are we going to show everything Alaska related, but we'll show everything related for the 25th. We will also be on the Magic at the end of the summer for the 25th as well, before that anniversary ends on the ship that, of course, started it all. So one of two silver anniversary sailings, but of course, this will be the only sailing that we're in Alaska. So we are getting ready to head out of our hotel. We've been staying in the Hilton downtown Vancouver. Um, great, like great location, had a good time here, but we're ready to head over to the terminal and get on the Disney Wonder. All right, so of course my camera did not film as we were boarding the ship. My remote did not work, but we are now in Triton's for the concierge lunch. So we're gonna get a nice meal to start off the trip. Four of us throughout the table all got the empanada that we've gotten every other time on the Welcome Aboard Dinner. Now there are a couple concierge exclusive items that we'll be showing when the entrees come out. And then Jaden got a salmon appetizer, so he is in the Alaska spirit already. Here's a look at the concierge exclusive entree. It is a lobster salad. Then Amanda and I both got the pennant salad with the goat cheese that we've typically got pennant pasta with goat cheese that we get on every other sailing and then my mom got a caesar salad as well so that is the one concierge exclusive i think there may have been a second option that was concierge only and there's a concierge only dessert that we did order as well all right finally we have our desserts so this is the concierge item this is the lava hot pot i believe so it's like a chocolate molten, lava cake yeah. yeah molten hot pot 
with some kind of ice cream. Hazelnut gelato. Hazelnut gelato. Okay. And then Jaden and both my parents got the Welcome Aboard Sunday, which is a vanilla ice cream with butterscotch sauce. Welcome to the Roy O Disney Suite on the Disney Wonder. So coming in the door, we've got this fancy little mirror with a little table right here in the front. We've got some fresh flowers and ooh, some postcards and our little breakfast menus. That's our information from the concierge team. There's a bathroom behind here. Oh, bathroom behind here. So let me quickly... Ooh, super cool wall. We have the Elemis products, which they always offer for concierge level. And it does have just a toilet in here, so just a little half bath. And then we've got this cool, really cool wood tiling on the wall here. Oh, got a fancy touch screen for the lights. That's cool. Oh, it controls all the lights. Going down the hallway, over here on the right, we have the little kitchen area. So we've got a wine fridge, got a really cool coffee maker, but of course con coffee will also be available in the concierge lounge with some tea and our coffee cups and bowls over on the side. Then on the other end of the kitchen, we have our trash can there. We've got a mini fridge that is fully stocked. We've got premium bars, we've got sodas, juice, milk, some wine glasses, got some bottle or canned water wine glasses over there really nice space here pretty good sized kitchen and then if we go over here we have a walk-in closet here on the side really big closet for a cruise ship and then the master bedroom right here here we have our concierge or castaway club gifts so our new lanyards which i'll show in just a bit but the platinum gift is this beach towel wet dry bag it says Castaway Club embroidered on there for gold level. And then this is a tote bag underneath for silver with each of our little lanyards here, Amanda's, and then the rest of ours. Really big bed here. Great color scheme with some more artwork of Walt over there on the wall. Got a nice little vanity area with a mirror, some drawers. And then here is the master bathroom, which this oh is just gosh. crazy. This is huge. So you got this huge full-size tub over here. Massive. Double sink. Like I've just never seen a bathroom like this on a ship oh, before. No, with the toilet over here and the walk-in shower. It does have a bench over there with all of those Elemis products again. Huge drawer underneath as well. Plenty of storage space, that is for sure. Ooh, okay. Going back towards the main hallway going into the living room. So we got two sofas here on either side of the table right with the table here in the center. Looks like they gave us some cheese and fruit Look over here. with some board games. Like Scrabble, Clue, Monopoly. Yeah, that's cool. With our TV that does pop up um, and sinks down into that base as well. So you can put the TV away if you just want a more unobstructed view of of course looking out the veranda which we'll show next so this is the living space then if we move over here to the left another big mirror on the wall here this is going to be the sitting room so we do have two chairs here we've got another tv with some drawers on the wall and all kinds of decorations on the shelves here the, the uh, phone but also this is another bed so this whole wall will come down like a lot of the resorts over at disney world with a drop drop down double bed here and this will be Jaden's room so it still has a cur it actually has a sliding door and of course its own entry to the veranda so it can be a whole whole sleeping area here's one of those lanyards this is the platinum level one and here's amanda silver so these just got redesigned with the introduction of the pearl tier, so they look really nice. Okay, moving across. So we're going across the la the living room. We've got a full-size dining room here. So a big dining table that seats six. Two extra chairs along the back wall if you needed to sleep uh, to sit eight. We've got some nice concept art of Sleeping Beauty Castle from Disneyland, with a little side table there. I assume that it might be Monster of the Whale, but 
not positive. Now with the suite, you can also order Palo, so they can serve you dinner in this room as well, so if, if you would like. And then we have the final bedroom that will be for me and Amanda. Two twin size beds here with a little desk in the middle. Got a nice little light fixture up there with the two drop down beds on either side. So this room could technically sleep four with another TV there in the wall, some drawers for storage underneath. And then we have a little, little walk-in closet here. Um, so no doorway or anything, but plenty of hanging space with some more drawers and of course the ladder if you're gonna use those bunk beds. And then finally the second main bathroom, which again, not a split bathroom, has the toilet with one sink here and then a shower tub combo which is a full-size tub. So yeah, this is a very large room. We will definitely enjoy having all this space as we are sailing through Alaska. Now one final thing I wanted to show before we do disembark here at Ketchikan is the Roy o Roy o Disney Suite veranda. I realized that the first day was so chaotic when we got on board. We were so excited. There was so much happening. We actually had to completely decorate the suite for my dad's birthday since the day we got on was his actual birthday. So I did a very quick room tour. If you haven't seen that, go check out our first Disney Wonder vlog. But I never actually showed the veranda. So I did want to give that a quick little walkthrough as well. Just if anybody's interested in what the veranda looks like here on here on the Wonder at the Royal Disney Suite. I know the Walt Disney Suite on the opposite side of the ship is the same. So here's what it looks like. You do have four chairs and two tables. There are five of us, so we did ask for an additional chair and they did find one for us. So you have two chairs and a table at either end of the, of the suite. So this right here looks into the dining room. And we have two chairs here. Then we have this big open space with the giant glass windows by the living room that kind of jut out a little bit. So this all looks into the main living room of the suite. And then we have another set of chairs with a table here at the opposite end. If you were in either of the cabins next door, if you had more people than the suite sleeps, you could, of course, open up the connecting verandas like you can in any other room. But you can see it's a very large veranda, very long which has been great because we've spent so much time on the balcony this sailing, looking out at all of the Alaskan wildlife. We have finished up the emergency mandatory life uh, safety drill and we are now up on deck. The sail a wave party is starting in just a couple minutes. We got these big inflatable Mickey hands everywhere. And there is a special pre-show for the 25th anniversary sailing. Good, good, good time. Now, Disney Wonder, I have one question for you. 
We are in Triton's tonight for dinner, just like we were for lunch. Same menu as Royal Palace and Court on the Dream and Fantasy, so I'm starting off with the deep fried brie that I've had before. My dad is starting off with the escargot. Amanda and my mom have the French onion soup, which I have coming up next. And then Jaden got the lobster and jumbo shrimp. All right, we got three different entrees at the table. Jaden got the lobster conchigli. Pasta? Oh, interesting. With, and then Amanda has the salmon. Salmon royale. Salmon With okay. horseradish crust and truffle cauliflower. And it looks like mashed potatoes? It's cauliflower. Oh, okay. Mashed. And then I got the filet that I've had on the other ships. It comes with potato, some green beans, and some bernet sauce. Looks very good. Here's a look at dessert. I, of course, had to get my Grand Marnier Souffle, my favorite dessert anywhere on the Disney Cruise Line. And then for my dad's birthday, they did bring out an additional little cake for him. And then a couple people at the table did get the strawberry shortcake sundae for tonight. But I'm ready to dig into my, my Grand Marnier Souffle. It is the best. Well, I did not pour mine yet, but we're going to do it. So good. If you're on any of the ships, get the souffle. Good morning from our first day at sea on the Disney Wonder. So, we didn't film too much yesterday. Um, going to combine days one and two into one video. We did not show the store because it was chaos. Mm -mm. <laughs> They mm -hmm. had all the new Alaska stuff, all of the 25th stuff, and it was probably the most chaotic I've ever seen a store on any cruise <laughs> ever, including the inaugural Wish merchandise. This was way worse. Yeah, it was scary. We went down half an hour before the store opened to line up, and the line was already probably at least 50 people long, if not more. They only got 35 pairs of ears total. I think they had more lounge flies. I really wanted the spear jersey. That was all grabbed off the shelf. They did end up putting more out later, so that was good. And I did get this polo shirt, so they did have that too. But we will show the store later. We just figured it's going to be a yeah. lot easier today. Cause... Yeah, there's just going to be some <laughs> things, unless they restock, which is highly doubtful, like of like the ears. Like Obviously, I don't think that's going to be Well, we never there. saw them anyway. <laughs> yeah, we saw people checking out with them because yeah. um, they snatched them. But... Um, We'll show the stores, but it's not going to be fully stocked to its f greatest potential. <laughs> but, yeah, there won't be any ears or bags, um, but I, I don't think any of the Alaska stuff probably sold out, so we I should be able to show that. That's pretty much all there still. Yeah, so that will be later. We didn't we did go to the pub after dinner, um, which I'm sure we'll be back, and I can show that another time. We did get our 25th anniversary beer mugs, so I can show that as well. It's currently sitting in our bathroom because I washed it, but... We'll definitely be trying all the different lounges around the ship throughout the sailing, since we do have seven nights on the Wonder. But this is our first day at sea, so we have brunch at Palo, and we're going to be leaving in about probably 10 minutes or so. So we're going to head there. We're probably going to get the same food that we've gotten on prior trips to Palo, so probably nothing too exciting to show food-wise, but I can quickly show what Palo looks like since it is a different ship. So. And if someone does get something different than we usually get, we can show it. Yeah, I'm but sure we usually I'll get the show... same thing every single time. Yeah, I'll quickly show the food, but it's going to be the same thing if you've seen our prior cruise videos, because we like what we get. Um, I usually get a calzone, the man usually gets chicken parm or lasagna, and some pastries and cheese, all kinds of good stuff. And then after that, we'll probably wander the ship. It's already cold out, we just went outside. Mm -hmm. I think it's about 50 degrees outside currently, so we are still making our way up to tomorrow's glacier day once we get to Alaska. So tomorrow will be another day at sea, but it'll be more exciting looking out at the glacier. Yeah, right, right now it's now very you foggy. Show we have the yeah, front of the ship. That's the bridge view, um, and I'll show the outside veranda later. But it is very foggy out there. It's not too much to see at the moment, but we'll hopefully have some characters that we can go find. I know there's a DVC event later that they just sent us a message, invited us to with free drinks, and they said character or special 
a surprise appearance or however they phrased it. So we'll see if we go to that, but there'll definitely be plenty to do throughout the ship. We really haven't explored everywhere yet. We didn't do too much yesterday. We just, we went to Triton's twice. Um, haven't gone down near Tiana's yet. Haven't fully explored the pool deck. I haven't gone down on the main pool deck yet. We were just up on the balcony. So we'll have more exploring to do. Um, and we'll of course try to spread it out throughout the week so that it's not going to all be in today's video. So definitely subscribe if you want to see other stuff from our trip, but we'll definitely be showing more of the wonder today. But now it's time for brunch. Here's a look at Palo on the wonder. Here's a look at a three cheese omelet up here, Palo, something we haven't tried before. And then Jaden and my dad are sharing a goat cheese and sun-dried tomato flatbread. We've already had lots of bread and some pastries, our mimosas, everything else has been the same so far. I got the calzone that I usually get, but it's a bit larger than normal. I can't really fit it all in the frame, but <laughs> it looks good. Tonight's dinner is at Animator's Palette, which looks very different on the Magic and the Wonder from the Dream and Fantasy. Over here at our table, we've got some nice artwork of Hercules. And the cool thing about this restaurant, unlike the Dream and Fantasy where they have Crush come and talk to you, this restaurant will slowly turn from black and white into full color throughout the meal. So as I film some of the other portions of the meal, it might look a little more colorful in here. They already have a little bit of color, but nothing, nothing crazy yet. Our first course, we have the truffle pasta, one of my favorite appetizers on the Disney Cruise Line. Amanda's first time trying it since she hasn't been in Animator's Pal when we had this on prior sailings. And then my dad got the salmon tartare. We had our potato cherry cheese soup that we always get, but now we've moved on to entrees. So four of us got the tuna steak, comes with some potatoes. And then my mom got the steak, which did come with sour cream potatoes. She just substituted it for some wasabi plain oh, wasabi mashed potatoes and substituted them for some plain ones. That is going to be it for the first two days on our last cruise. There is still plenty more to show. We have not shown any of the stores. We haven't really shown filming around the ship that much yet, but the trip has just begun. We still have all of our port days ahead of us, two more days at sea. So plenty of time that we'll make sure to show off all that the Disney Wonder has to offer. We did go down. So it was kind of an abrupt ending because we had to go straight from dinner to our tequila tasting. So we did miss the finale at Animator's Palette. So we will be on the magic later this year and we'll make sure to film it then because we did miss that finale but we did our tequila tasting we then went down to cadillac lounge and went straight to bed so we will make sure i'm sure we'll be back in these lounges we will also just walk through them so i can show what the different lounges look like but now we have tried cadillac lounge as well mm -hmm. so we had a fun time there and today which we're now filming the next morning is glacier day so definitely subscribe if you want to see the glacier um, we are almost there currently so all of the characters will be out in their alaska costumes today so we'll be hopefully meeting some of them lots of cool stuff to come on glacier day so if you enjoyed this first two days on our disney wonder cruise definitely give this video a like and again subscribe if you want to see the rest of the trip that's gonna be it for today so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys the next time we go to disney and beyond